Greetings, viewers. We are here with some more Wind Waker HD. We're here in the Tower of Gods. As we left off, we got Drake to our... our Drake's over there. We got Josh over here. We're going to go see if we can find Megan. Um, so that's our goal for today. And we're also going to see if we can do the, uh, the completion of the Tower of the Gods. We'll have to see what happens. Um, is that some keys flying around? Yeah, well, that is. All right. Hey, Keese, you want to, like, run into my boomerang, please? Cool, that's one. And there's there's two. Take care of a boomerang. That's what I like to see. Okay, so this is kind of a fun little puzzle here. We got... Actually, hold on. Before anything else, I think there's a treasure map down this way before anything. So let's just go down over here first. I want to say there's a treasure map down here. Okay, let's, uh... Okay, I don't. I feel like I do not really like this. Um, hey, leave me alone. <laughs> Another thing that's cool is you can also L-target for... Um, you also L target for the uh, arrows that we got in the last episode, which is pretty cool. So let's see, what do I want to do? I want to, um, let's see. Let's come over right here first. That way, because I think I actually need to do that first. All right, let's drop down and then aim at our good old eyeball. If I can just, there we go. Hitting a moving target is a little bit of jank, but there we go. I don't think I want to care, or no, I'll do it. I made that jump. Wow. <laughs> I thought I game ended myself. Okay. Bombs? Really? That's it? I thought I would have got, like, something cool. I made that jump, too. What the heck? That's, like, freaking crazy. All right. I I feel like there's something good in this pot. It's got to be, like, a joy pen or something, right? I keep making these jumps when I really shouldn't. What? That's it? Just arrows and bombs? All right. That was a waste of time. Jeez. Well, at least I'm making all these jumps and looking cool. <gasps> Look at cool, Link! Okay, here we go. Let's see if we can hop up on over here. Grab our little treasure chest right here. Is this? Okay, I did need to come in here. Never mind. It's a small key. Um, there was a... Yes. You. Actually, hold up. Before anything else, you need to perish. I'm a freaking sniper, dude. Did I get it? I'm not a sniper, apparently. Boop! There we go. Okay, so that'll move over. Now we just have to go on this thing and go up. And then there's also another guy over there. Okay, that's interesting. Um, didn't I start at the bottom? Oh, no, I guess I didn't. I guess I did start at the top. Bounce. Oh, I made that jump, dude. I'm so freaking crazy. Oh, I know what I need to do. Okay, I know what happens here. So I jump, and then I fire at the eye. And then while I do that, the yeah, treasure appears right there. And I don't think it's another small key. I think it's just a cool, epic, um, cool, epic treasure, I believe. I want to say that it is, but you know what? I don't know for sure. But if it's cool, if it's not a small key, I'm down for that. Okay, joy pendant, cool. How many do we have of those now? We are really close to being able to do that side quest. We have 15. And there's a bonus one on Windfall Island. So let's say we have 16. We basically have 16. When we find four more, which we could easily do just by fighting Bacoblins. If we fight some Bacoblins, we'll easily, easily um, be able to... Oh, I know where the treasure room is now. Okay, I think it's through that thing. But here's what we have to do. We have to do the whole puzzle thing, which I was talking about just a few minutes ago. We have to use these statue guys um, as weight. So you see these two little scale things? Yes, time to tip the scales. We're literally robbing right now. When we throw stuff on them, they like change weight, which is kind of cool. I should have thrown it on the other one, but you know what? We can bounce it right back out with that. And there we go. But I want to make sure that this one, the left one, is a bit heavier because I can go down here, throw a bomb down, and then um, blow this thing up. That way I can go investigate what's inside. And I'll say that better not. What? That didn't work. Fine. I'll just. I guess I'll just have to time it. Now, I'm a freaking god at timing that. I got good at that in the last episode. I had to time something. Here we go. Get my epic bombs. I can I get some magic back too? All right, arrows back too. That's that's cool too. So I think through here is. Oh, oh, it's these guys. Okay, these guys are funny. Um, or are they? Okay, hold on. No, hold on. I think I have to play that song. I think that's the song I have to play right here. I could be wrong. Am I wrong? I am not. Okay, here we go. Yes. This is a treasure map, I want to say. Again, could be wrong. Oh, is it? Oh, jeez. Okay. I was going to say, are they going to come after me? So basically, how you defeat these guys is you have to throw bombs in their mouths, and then they just go insane. Look at that one. He's going insane. <laughs> Knocks these things down, too. Okay. After three bounces, though, that's when you have to throw right in their mouth, and then they just go crazy. When these, when they have to fight like multiple of these guys at once. Oh, give me that. Never mind. Um, when you, when you, sometimes you have to fight multiple of those guys at once, like more than two, and it gets insane because you're like in a small spot, and it's so hard to avoid them going crazy, and it's like it's randomized too, so you have no idea if they're gonna come after you or not, and it's just like, uh, it's so crazy, dude. It's just crazy going up against those guys. So let's see. Uh, pillars are down, 
anything special in either of them. Uh, just looks like it's bombs and arrows, so we don't even really need to worry about that. So what is in here? Is it really just a treasure map? That doesn't- that seems- this seems way too important to be a treasure map. Could be wrong about this though, but, you know, very well could be. I guess this is our treasure treasure chart, I guess I should say. I guess it's literally just a treasure chart. That's honestly surprising. But okay, at least I know what to do there. Yep, there we go. We got the bonus treasure chart. Have we got the treasure chart in every single dungeon? I don't think we got the, uh... I don't think we got one in the first one, or did we? I know we got one in the second one. Because I remember it clearly, but I don't know if we got one in the first one. I could just be mistaken, but here we go. Let's stick to the actual main story. That was, like, completely optional, but that's fine. Might as well show that off while I got the chains. Throw that on down there. We are literally tipping the scales right now. Robin would be so proud of us. <gasps> there we go. That's what I'm looking for. And now that we got that small key, we can actually go into this door. Give me some magic back, please. There we go. We don't even really need to use magic in this dungeon, but you know what? For my safety net, I like to have it. Okay, so is this... Yes. Okay, um... Yep, here we go. Okay. I have to do... Right here, and then I think I have to be like, what's up? What's up, what's up, what's up? What's up? Can I do the song thing? Will that work, or do I have to, okay, okay, I, have no, I know what I need to do. Um, or do I? Oh, okay, I actually do, I actually do know what I need to do. I think I have to get up on this, and then Deku Leaf on over. Yes, okay, I did remember this. Okay, so now I can be like, hey, what's up, dude? What's up, Megan? This is Megan. <laughs> Here she is. Okay, so now that we got Megan, we have to go reunite her with her brother so that she can keep tormenting them. Okay, so now we have to do the control song. And then the only way to get out of here is by stepping on the thing that we were just on. Isn't that kind of cool? I just love how these puzzles work because Megan is invincible. Look at this. She just doesn't care. Megan does not care about the lasers. But there we go. Step right on there, Megan. There we go. Now we can continue. We are best pals, Megan, even though I would never want to be friends with Megan because she's terrifying and she'd probably backstab me because that's just who she is. All right, now it becomes a little tricky because I think... Oh, shoot, a whiz robe. Okay, hold on. We can take you out with some epic arrows if I don't get shot. Hey, dude. Wait, no, I forgot you take more than one arrow. Okay, hold on. I literally can just L target. What am I doing? <laughs> okay, so, yeah, we got to go grab those freaking um, statues over there, but now... It's a little tricky because now Link with um, Megan actually weighs even more. So we're going to have to throw, I think, three down so that it'll actually work because um, it's kind of cool how like all of them are equal weight. Like Link, this uh, Megan, and these little statue dudes, they're all the same weight, which is kind of cool. Okay, they're all on there now. So now we just have to, there we go. Come here, Megan. We're going on an adventure. We're going to reunite you with your freaking brothers. So don't you worry about anything. I know you don't want to see them, but you know what? You live with them, so it's not like it's anything new. Here you go, Megan. Return to your brothers. Now the trio is back. Drake, Josh, and Megan are all here, and now they can lead us on to a brighter future, which I don't even remember which way we're at. That, what, what even happens? I think we get warped somewhere, if I want to say I'm correct. I could be wrong about that, though, but we'll have to see. All right, Megan, Drake, Josh, do your thing. There we go. Triforce pieces. That's looking pretty cool. There we go. Yes, and they're all the same colors of the, the three, I guess. I don't really know. I don't even think they are. Never mind. I think I'm just making stuff up trying to be cool, but whatever. Cool. Now that our warp spot has been activated, let's get on through. I am cool. I'm the best Wind Waker player of all time. I really like purple. Purple's my favorite color. Look at all this purple shining. Is it blue? I think it's purple. I'm not that colorblind. Tell me if I'm wrong. Please, I'm pretty sure that's purple. Okay, watch out. I see you over there. Um, Let's see. Uh, okay. I think I know. I think I know what I need to do. Gotta take these statue dudes and put them on over here while avoiding the eyeballs. Huh? Okay. Oh, is that that's the boss key? Hold on. No, 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 no. Are we a lot? I thought there was a lot more to this dungeon. No, you know what? We actually are nearing the end. I think we're like three the fourth through the way through the dungeon. Wow. This was actually shorter than I remember. Okay. Um. Never mind then. Is that, oh, is that enough though? It is, okay, cool. All right then, well, there we go. Now that we have the boss key, there was nothing stopping us from getting the boss. I think we're actually on the third floor right now and the boss is actually really close by, I wanna say. Oh, oh shoot, <gasps> I was like, what was the ohm sound? It was these guys, okay. These guys are actually kind of a little weird. So you have to hit them from their back and like you have to hit them multiple times and once their gem breaks, they do the exact same thing. Now I think about it, I think these guys are actually worse than the big ones because they go for like longer 
and they're harder to avoid, I think? I don't really know if I remember that correctly. But there we go. Yes, that is how we do it. Cool. Now, we just have to continue on. Let me get that one last rupee. Gosh, I swear, maybe I'm the one with the OCD. <laughs> Here we go, are we on? Yes, we are, we're on the outside. Yes, okay. We are actually really close. We are actually super close. Let's be careful here though. There's that freaking ah, guy, he's back. But there's a bunch of these little eyeball things too, so, or are they? No, I think they're stationary though. Can I, come after me, dude. I want your feather. Oh, yeah, come your feather first before anything else. Give me that feather, there we go. Now you can go jump off a cliff if you want. Go ahead. Not, it's not gonna be like Dragon Roost this time. Okay, come on, give me that. Um, okay, give me that heart. Okay, how the heck did I do this? Did I just go zoom? Oh no, okay, um, how the heck did I do this? Did I use my shield? Shield? No, um, oh duh, use the freaking arrows. Does that actually work? I guess it does, Never mind. I guess I'm just stupid. Okay, Never mind. just gotta use arrow. Hey dude, guess what? Pew, <laughs> that's right. That's right, my dude. Okay, I just gotta, I just gotta do this. Oh, oh gosh, he was like ready for me that time. Oh, he's a spinny one, that's why. All right, I don't think I think you can only hit them. Yeah, they're invincible until you actually like, walk up to them. There we go. Okay, dude, it's hard to see because you're blending in with the sun. All right, where are you? I know you freaking eh thing is here. Come here, eh. Come here, eh. Come here, freaking bird. I just said, give me your. Come on. All right, all right. No, don't you rant me. I'll rant you. I'll rant you. I will rant. A race. A ras. I don't know. I'll erase you from this world. That's what I was trying to say. Okay, dude. There's pew, and then there's pew. Okay, so I think the boss is right here. Hold on. Watch out. There we go. We actually have a little bit of, we, there's a little bit of time to react. All right, come on, dude. I'm ready for you. There we go. Perish. Yes, the boss is right here. <gasps> Wait, a fairy. I don't, I, don't have a, I don't have an empty bottle. That's fine. I have grandma's soup. That's all I need. Okay, here we go. The boss. I didn't think it was this soon. I forgot how short this dungeon was, but here we go. Let's get ready. For this boss. We actually can take a picture of him now because we have the color photos. That's why I was saving this because this boss I think we only get to um, we only have one chance to take a picture of him and that is right now Let's go see how he's doing Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, this is bringing back the memories Hoo -hoo -hoo, The Tower of the Gods apex of the Tower of the Gods here we are you have done well to find your way to this place. Oh, chosen one. Thank you. Uh, accept this final challenge. The final challenge, huh? Oh, here we go. Bring the hands to life. I'm ready to give you a high five or a fist bump or whatever the heck you want, but I am not gonna, I don't know, whip in Nene. Dude, I swear, if this freaking boss would ever whip in Nene, I would perish myself. Here we go. The one, the only, Godon, ruler of the frickin' Tower of Gods. Here we go. Before anything else, I'm rolling back here. Never mind, he's surrounding me. He's surrounding me. This is bad. Hold on. Can I um deal with this, please? There we go. Watch out. Give me the other one. Pew. There we go. Okay. Hold on. No, I just wanted to. Oh, I don't have the timing down. Oh, I have to do it twice. That's fine. I'm stupid. There we go. Okay. Godon himself. Hold on. Go away from me. I'm trying to take a photo of you. Okay. Don't. Don't do- Oh, I forgot how cool this part is. You literally just- <gasps> Okay. Okay. Go, Don. Back off. I can't- <laughs> Get away from me. I'm just trying to take a picture of you and your awesomeness. Okay. You can't hit me from that far away, can you? You can? Wow. Okay. Right there. That's probably not good, but I'm, I'll take multiple photographs. This is important to me. Okay, yes. Back up. That's right. Back up. You're scared. I know you're scared of me, Go, Don. Hold on a second. Come on. Let me shoot you. Give me your eyes. Give me your eyes, dude. There we go. Give me your other eye. Where are you? L target? No? Okay, you're gonna do that thing again? That's cool. Go ahead. I don't care. You think I care, Godon? I don't care. Watch this. Pew! Give me that eye. Come on. Come on. Stop moving. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. Okay. Now. Boom. That should be a guaranteed, I think. We'll do it again. Uh, look, it even just showed us there. Okay, so here we go. Catch, dude. <laughs> you remember those guys from earlier? Yep, we're doing the same thing to him. So here we go. Now the hands come back. Here we go. I love this theme so much, dude. And how there's like two different kind of variations of it. It's so cool. All right, we're gonna need um, we're gonna need some arrows here soon. I hope he's gonna uh, you know, maybe sneeze out some arrows here soon. Okay, are you are you going on? Oh no, your other hand. Come on. Hey, dude. What's going on? 
Nice hand. Nice hand you got there. It'd be a shame if something happened to it. Um, I'm out of, yeah, I'm really out of arrows. Okay, it's go on time. All right, give me that eye. Okay, another eye. Okay. Um, I only have one arrow left. Go on. Could you um, could you provide me with some arrows, please? I could really. He literally sneezed them out. I love that so much. <laughs> literally sneezed them out. So funny. Okay. Um. So can I still hit your eye? Or I guess your hands are back. So cool. Uh uh. Come on. There we go. Uh uh uh. No 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 don't push me. Into the okay, this is electric floor, so I have to get out of here really fast. Uh uh. Okay. Okay, I actually should um, switch this right now. There we go. Hold on. I, I, I. <laughs> this is always a very disorienting fight. Okay, come on. Look at me. Smile for the camera. Come on, smile for me. There we go. Yes. Catch one of these, my dude. There we go. How's it taste, Godon? Does it taste good? Because I kind of want to try one. Um, there we go. Oh, hey. Don't think you can protect your brethren, you fool. Where are you? Where are you? Hey. Hey, dude. Hey, what's going on? What's going on? What's going on? I missed. Hold on. Final arrow. There we go. Sneeze. That's right. Give me that. Give me that snot arrow. That's what I need. I... I don't... Do they clap? I don't really know what happened there. Um... Hey. Stop moving around so I can hit you. Okay. Jeez, these guys came back already? Okay. Yeah, I remember, like, the third phase of the arrows is actually... Or the hands are kind of tricky to get down. Because they keep doing stuff. And you have to, like, defeat both of them in a certain amount of time. Um, so here we go. Now we're on Godon himself. There we go. He's sneezing. He's sneezing. Okay, the, his hands are back, though, but we can still go after him, too. Just be careful here. Be careful. Watch out. Okay. That's one. That's two. Okay. Get out of here, hand. I do not need a hand right now. I need a hand. I need hands off. Okay, careful. Come on. I'm really close. And not I need any more snot arrows. Not from you. Not from anyone. Please. Okay, the final arrow. This has got to be it. I'm not accepting any more snot. There we go. That's it. See you, Godon. Nice knowing you, dude. I totally have taken a selfie with him, but whatever. That's fine. All right, Godon. It was fun while it lasted. The path can now be open. Is that so? Oh, chosen one. Oh, Godon. What will now come to pass is tied to your fate, to the path that you have chosen. Uh, go forward with caution. Okay, Godon. Whatever you say, do. Oh, what's what's that? Oh, my cool, nice. Thanks, Godon. Um, you're just gonna go back up there. You're not gonna blow up like every other boss. That's cool. You know what? That's fine. If you ever need to trial somebody else, you're gonna need to recharge your batteries after that fight because I shot so many snot rockets at you, and you're gonna snot out one more. Okay, that's cool. You know what? Why not? I'll take it. Jeez, this is really close to the portal. Let me just grab this first before anything else. There we go. Another heart container filled with snot from Godon. It was nice, dude. It was fun. I wonder, actually, hold on. Hold on. I've never tried this, actually. Does it count if I, like, as I take a photo of him, like, right there? It does? Really? Okay, interesting. Okay, then. Well, thanks, Godon. It was fun. But I'll be going now. I got better places to be. And there's actually one really cool place where I think we're going to head to right about now after we just get a little bit thin. Ah, yes. I think this is the one and only time that we can actually come up here. And it's kind of cool. You're at the very apex of the Tower of the Gods. And you know how we ring this bell? Do you know? I kind of have the answer right in front of you, but this is how we do it. Here we go. Oh, reliable. Let's ring the bell of the Tower of Gods. Here we go. That's so cool, dude. Like, that's so sick. That's actually so cool. I love this. Like, like they could have just made it like, I'll oh, just ring the bell. Or like, ring it gone. But no, you have like the item to ring it. That's just, it's just like so, just the, like the detail of it. It's just so cool. There we go. The ringing opens up the portal. Here we go. Oh, now things are starting to get interesting. And then Kingy you know, and Link are just right at the bottom. You know, I've always thought that was weird. Even as a kid, I was like, how did he get down there? He just climbed down the entire thing. Uh, you have done well, Link. Uh, it would seem that the gods have acknowledged you to be a true hero. Also, why do you smell like snot? Uh, but this does not mean your trials have ended here. Yes, it is only just beginning. Yeah, that, 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 that cliche line. Once you take your first step into the world beyond the Ring of Light, you see shimmering in the waves before you, your true trial will begin. Yep. Are you ready, Link? Yeah. Yeah, dude. I'm ready. I'm ready. To... Oh, wait, right now? Okay, hold on. I thought I had like a few seconds. Hold on. 
I wasn't actually ready. I was just saying like I, I, I was thinking, King, help! <laughs> ah, here we go. Things are picking up a little bit now. What? How the heck am I breathing underwater, King? Is this natural? <laughs> uh, it smells like socks. No, not socks. It smells more like, you know, apple juice. I don't know how I could ever mix those two up, but you know what? I guess this is what it smells like. Can you stop talking, Link? I'm trying to enjoy this nice, peaceful underwater ride. I'm sorry, King. I'm just interested. Uh, what is that? Uh, that is the Triforce. I don't know what I'm doing right now. <laughs> That's the Triforce. Um, it's just slapped around everywhere in Zelda, and everyone freaks out about it because Zelda fans love to read into every single detail, myself included. Um, but here we are. The underwater secret area, which has a lot of Triforces on it that awful, awfully resembles Hyrule Castle or something like that. I don't know. There we go. I don't know why it looks so weirdly colored, but... Actually, I do know. Never mind, that's a lie. Alright, well, hey, King of Red Lions. Um, you are probably wondering where we are, aren't you? Uh, no. Unfortunately, there's not enough time for me to explain it to you now. Once you are able to strike down Ganon with the item you obtain in this castle, all will be made clear to you. Okay? Trust in my words. See what awaits you in the castle. Okay? Why is the water frozen? <laughs> is it actually still frozen? Um... Is it? It is! Okay. Oh! Never mind. Okay, I know why it's frozen. I know why it's frozen. Okay. Let's see if we can, uh... Yeah, yeah. That, that's that's good. That's good. I, I want the boomerang, actually. For what we're gonna be seeing in here. So... This is a pretty cool little moblin just like, hey dude, what's going on? Oh, is that a statue of the hero of time long? Look at all these freaking mobos. Look at them all. They're all posing. I should take a photo of them like that. <laughs> I don't know. They're kind of monochrome, dude. Oh, look at that. that oh, is that Zelda? No way. There was someone who looked like Nico on there. That was crazy. Nico is actually royalty. Nico's Princess Zelda, guys. I figured it out for here first. Nico's actually Princess Zelda. Okay, can I take a picture of these guys? Does it count? I don't think it does. It does? Okay, cool. Actually, now I think I should do one of the Mobba now while I'm at it. Hey, dude. <laughs> this is actually a pretty good photo right there. I like the poses you guys are in. It's kind of nice. Okay, so that seems pretty cool. So now we have to go down here and do... Uh, all right, hold on. First, uh, all right, Link. I'll need you to listen to me for a moment. Okay, I know what you're going to say, but go ahead. The item you seek is hidden somewhere in this castle. To find it, you must find the entrance to the basement. But that entrance has been blocked by a mighty threshold, firmly sealed to prevent evil from ever gaining access. Do you know where to search and uh, do you know where to search and what you must do to open the hidden way? You will find a clue in the shape of a heldery near the uh, near where we arrived at the castle. Okay. Well, I already know what we need to do, and I think it's pretty obvious if you already see these things. There's uh, a few triangles here, and uh, oh, what's this? The Triforce in the center. So yeah, this is a little puzzle that we got here. Except that's not what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to I'm trying to grab. How do I grab? How do I grab? Here we go. That's, uh, there we go. Okay, so if I remember this correctly, this is actually a pretty tough puzzle. Um, at least when I was a kid, I could never get this puzzle down. Like, for the life of me, it was so hard. But you know what? Now I think about it, it probably isn't that hard. Yeah, now I'm looking at it, it really isn't that hard. But I swear, when I was a kid, this was the hardest thing in the world to me. It actually is extremely easy now that I'm looking at it. But, like, I don't know what it was. When I was a kid, I couldn't do this thing. But nope, it's actually pretty easy. There we go. We already got two two things down. And now we just got to get the final one, which is just got to keep rotating. I think it, what really gets me is because I kept trying to like go in the middle. But you have to go on like either side. So like if I pull this way, it'll go that way. If I pull this way, it'll go that way. So it just kind of like balances out. And it's kind of cool like that. So we go one, uh, one more time, one more time, one more time. I just did a complete 360. No, I didn't. Okay, never mind. We got this. Uh, actually, I want to go from the outside because if I do it from there, I'll get trapped. So here we go. Boom. The Triforce has been created. Never mind. It actually doesn't matter because I thought it was going to go down anyway. I think they did that on purpose because or else you would be trapped in there forever. <laughs> nice game design, um, Nintendo. All right, here we go. The Triforce has been recreated. What do you want from me, statue of Link? You're just gonna rumble? That's cool. Oh! A hidden staircase. That seems pretty cool. I wonder what could be down here. Hmm. If you're a Zelda fan, or if you even know the 
most basic thing about Zelda, even if it's just in Smash, I'm pretty sure you have a pretty good idea. But, you know, I'm not going to say anything because it'll be revealed in just a couple of seconds. But, yeah, here we are. Yes, the chamber with the one and the only sword. The Master Sword. Excellent, Link. To perceive such a puzzle and decipher it is, so is no small feat. Now, take the sword that lies before you. It is none other than the Master Sword, the Blade of Evil's Bane. It is the only sword that can banish Ganon from the world above. Yep, here we go. The Master Sword. It's been a long time coming, looking kind of dull if I may, so myse uh, may say so myself. It's looking a little bit dusty, but there we go. Do a whole King Arthur and remove that thing from the stone slab? Uh, you guys want to talk? Oh, actually, I think I actually love this scene. Hold up. Do I actually like this scene? No, I mean, this scene is good regardless, but like, do I actually love this scene? I think, oh, never mind. I think I have a different scene, I think. No, no, we're good, we're good, we're good. Let's just say, let's say this is a scene, sure. There we go. So now that we revert, uh, uh, um, freaking taking out the dusty old sword, things should be, uh, looking a little bit different. Oh, is that color? Do I see a little bit of color? Oh, there's some more color. Ooh, color has returned. That also means, um,. That also means a little bit of bad news for us, but you know, it might not be entirely bad. It, depending on your perspective. From my perspective, I kind of like it. And... There we go. Yep, now the floor is crawling with enemies. This was so cool the first time I've ever done this. Because it's just like, you have to go up and you're just immediately raided by so many enemies. Moblins and dark nuts everywhere. And this is how we get pretty much 10 Knights Crest, because they're all, like, right here. But there we go. The Master Sword is ours. Look at that. Did you see that smirk? He was like, yeah, I'm so cool, dude. <laughs> yeah, dude, yeah. There we go. It's been a long time coming. The sad thing is, once we get the Master Sword, our little hero sword is gone forever. You got the Master Sword, the legendary blade with the power to re uh, repel evil, once wielded by the legendary hero himself. Cool. How did it get here? <laughs> There we go. But now that we have the Master Sword, look at that. Look at that. Looks cool. Looks looks like we're starting to be shaping up to be a pretty cool hero now. Look at that. A swoom. Looks at it. It's even different. It's like a blue. It's like blue instead of green. That's cool. And it's sad, but you know what? Our sword is gone. We can... Oh, you know what? We can't even still see it on the bottom screen. Okay, in the old game, you could still view your hero sword in your inventory, but you couldn't use it. You could just look at it there. Also, listen to this theme. It's so cool. The Hyrule Castle theme. I love it. It's just like... Oh. I love it so much. All right, so I know um, we're getting close to ending the episode. However, I gotta take out a couple of moblins and darkness. Like, come on, we got it. We can't just leave it off there. We gotta take out a couple of them. We're gonna about. We're just getting raid boss right now. Look, he's right in front of me. I'm gonna have to fight him and a moblin right back to back. That's fine. That's fine. I'll be ready for him. I'll be ready. Hey, hey, dude. Okay. Whoa, I was okay. Maybe I wasn't ready. All right, come on. I'm ready. There we go. Slash the armor. Careful. Watch the moblin. Come on. Okay. Careful. 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 I'm ready. And, I'm ready, come on. Hit me, hit me, Dark Knight, hit me, hit me, hit me. I don't need a third one. Jeez, there's too many enemies, too many enemies, okay. Hold on, stop. There's too many enemies, oh my gosh. Oh, 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 oh. Dude, I'm going crazy. I got all these, oh, I was gonna say, he's gonna use his fist. His fist is, they're so strong, I swear, they have, they're better with their fists, I, I swear. They are actually, the Moblins are better with their fists than their swords. Okay, careful, watch him. Did I just bust through his armor with my sword? No, that can't happen. I think it's because I already did, like, weaken it or something. Is that... Oh, a skull necklace. I can't believe I didn't even get one of these yet. Okay, I don't even think we need them for anything. There we go. Yes. We're gonna get some Knight's Crest here by defeating all these Dark Knights. But there we go. That was a pretty good fight, I have to say. That was actually really good. I'm surprised I made it out of there. But yeah, Master Sword actually does even more damage now. If you notice that we are killing things a little bit faster. Yeah, you're not wrong. We are actually killing things faster. Boop. There we go. Got the early kill on him. There we go. Oh, I tried to get the A timing there. It's, it's funny as you can actually make them attack each other. Um, Mobby, can you attack me? Yeah, I want to see if you can attack Dark Nut. Attack Dark Nut. Come on. Use your circular attack. Come on. Do it. I want to see you guys attack each other. Yes, there they go. <laughs> there they go. Oh, shoot. I should have been ready for that. I I swear. I'm telling you, better with their freaking... Okay, there's a lot of enemies here right now. Can I just get, like, a timing? Nope, that's fine. Go ahead and destroy all your friends. That's cool. I love that so much. It's so cool. All right, careful. I had my shield out though. Okay, I'm actually losing a little bit of HP here. Um, hold up. <laughs> Jeez, there's that circular attack I'm talking about. <laughs> oh, that actually works? Wow, hold on, let me just, uh, 
Boom. That actually works. Wow. Hold on. <laughs> I can camp them too. Hey, dude. Hey. Oh, shoot. Okay, he's actually coming after me now. Hey. Pause off, dude. Leave me alone. Jeez, I don't think... Does that actually do damage? Hey, stop with your karate. I get it. You're a martial artist. There we go. Get that armor off. Now I can go ham. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. Ooh, ooh, ooh. It feels so good, dude. Having the master sword. This is such a cool part of the game. When, like, the enemies unfreeze. And it's just like, ah. Oh, it's so cool because you just see them frozen. And, like, the very first time, it's like, well, that's kind of cool. Just frozen enemies. But then you realize that you're just in some big trouble now. After they unfreeze, it's so cool. It's just so sick. I can't explain it. It's just like, ah. Uh, I hope somebody is, like, watching this blind with me. Like, it's just, uh, it's so cool. Even if it's like two years after it's uploaded, if one person sees this playthrough for the very first time and just wanted to check out Wind Waker, I am so glad that you are here because it's just like, ah, oh, this is what I do things for because I just want people to experience these sorts of things. This is why I do these playthroughs because they're just so much fun. And it's like, ah, oh. like I've had so many people comment about like, they were like, we're thinking about checking out a game, but after they would like, uh, after they saw me play through it, they'd want to check it out. And it's just, ah, oh, stuff, it's comments like those are so fun. Like that's, that's the stuff. That's like, oh, whenever you do stuff. Oh, are you kidding me? Hold on. Can I grab that? Can I grab that, please? Please don't. Please don't get away. Please don't get away. Come on. No. I can't. No. <sighs> That's cheap. All right. Well, I think I'm going to end it off there. There's still a few more Mabos and Dark Nuts to take out, but you know what? We'll do that in the next episode. But thank you so much for watching, everybody. We got the Master Sword. We did the Tower of Gods, but you know what? We'll leave it off there. So thank you so much for watching. Things are going to get pretty, pretty interesting here coming up here soon. So thank you so much for watching once again for like the third time. I'll see you all in the next episode because I'm super excited to film it. So, see you all then, everybody. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Master freaking sword. Look at that thing, dude. Blue. Who needs green? We got blue. We got too much green with our tunic. We got the blue now. Guess we also got a new sword sheath. I don't know where that came from. It wasn't there. <laughs> Just kind of comes out of nowhere. Sure.